Hey guys, where are we? We're in Dallas, Texas. That's right, and uh, today is April 7th, 2024. You know what tomorrow is? I do. What's April, tomorrow? April 8th. April 8th, what's so special about tomorrow, <laughs> Alyssa? The eclipse. There's going to be a total eclipse of the sun, and we just happen to be right in the middle of the area that's going to be total blackout. Pretty awesome, huh? I'm excited. Yeah. I've taken off most of the day tomorrow from work. Alyssa is going to be viewing from her school. We have special glasses, and we're putting a plate over our head also because the glasses don't stay on that way because they're kind of flimsy. So. We decorated a plate like with our like cutouts of eyes and like mouth and breathing spaces basically. And we we're gonna hold them off and if you take them off you might go blind. It sounds like you guys have just come up with like an eclipse mask. It sounds you know? like you're not gonna be with mommy and I, but we're gonna go check out the eclipse together and maybe and we'll all see it at some point, right? Hopefully. It they, might be cloudy tomorrow. Yeah, they I'm really are. Hoping not. They are calling for cloudy skies, and uh, if that's the case, well, <laughs> we're just gonna miss it. It's gonna be dark. Anyways, I'm I'm really hoping that tomorrow works out, and if it doesn't, well, this is gonna be a lame video, right? Yeah. It's Monday at about 10:30, and the sun is shining uh, really bright, but of course, there's a whole bunch of clouds, just like they said there would be. So it's Eclipse Day and apparently Krispy Kreme is celebrating with a special Eclipse donut which I do not eat but Brian has asked me to pick up for Alyssa if I get through this line on time. It is uh, about an hour and a half before we're expected to experience the totality and it looks like we got sun. I hope it's not teasing. I think it might be. We'll, uh, we'll have fingers crossed. It was clear this morning. I arrived at my first patient's house. I took off early today by the way. And then all of a sudden the train went by and the same timing was just for dramatic appeal. The clouds just went rolling at the same time and I'm like, no, not today. <laughs> Where is it? I lost it. Did I go blind just now? <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. The cloud was covering it slightly. Wow, look at that. It's like half a sun. It's completely covered now. You look really good in those glasses, by the way. Thank you. This is a half hour into partial eclipse, and we got about an hour before totality. You think we're going to be able to view it? I hope so. The clouds kind of keep passing. We, we got a little bit of it, and now it's covered. Um, so I'm hoping that this big cloud that just covered it will go away very soon so we can be there right on the time. Uh, you can see about three quarters, but it's definitely a little smaller than last time. Oh. I get why the kids are doing the plate thing. Yeah. Because, you know, if they move just one way or the other, not careful. Oh, but it's, it's interesting because now it's getting cloudy again. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of see it's like, it looks like the moon with clouds going over, but, but of course it's not. It's the sun with clouds going over. So glad I took off work today for this, at least this part of work. I hope Alyssa is seeing some of this at school. I hope so too. It's pretty neat. It's amazing how many people took their kids out of school today. <laughs> Alyssa had the choice and she really wanted to do it at school with her friends because she said that's where I learned about it, so I understood that. I don't see anything. It's just clouds. Wow. You see that? Yeah. It was a tiny sliver of sun that I just saw. Yeah. Like it's not total coverage yet, but it's coming. I cannot imagine that kids are being this patient. They, I understand why they have a whole mask on, but I can't imagine that they're taking it off and on and off and on, or that they're all in the dark going, well, I don't see anything. <laughs> I know. And we are completely covered by clouds. Every once in a while the sun breaks through and we get to see that nice sliver. There was just a little sliver as if it were a crescent moon, but in this case it's a crescent sun. We are 20 minutes away from the totality. That sounds like so <laughs> end of world. <laughs> sounds like the apocalypse, doesn't it? Who knows if we'll actually be able to see it. Here comes the sun. Here goes the sun. Here goes, yeah. Here goes the moon. Here comes the moon. 
It's, it's gonna peek through there. Look at that. Yeah, maybe. We might get something. Hey. <laughs> you look cool. <laughs> oh, you look like you're gonna go to the 3D movie, but not <laughs> quite. There it goes. Wow, look at that sliver. It's gone. Oh, man. That is cool. Oh my God, that's awesome. All right, yeah, we're completely covered in cloud right now. And it, we got five minutes until the totality starts. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark. Is that because of the clouds or because of the Both, totality? Both, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we are going to be able to see it. Oh my God, that's it. That is it. That is it. And there goes the cloud. Goodbye. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Look at that. Look at it with your glasses. You Look at the cool. camera. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Yeah. Look at that. That is interesting. That is so cool. Let me see your camera. Oh, Brian, look. With okay, your okay, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that is so cool. <laughs> it's like, it's almost completely gone. I guess that's why they call it totality. <laughs> All right, we got two minutes until it, the totality. Oh, there it goes. It's completely gone. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, just a tiny, tiny. Tiny well. little bit. <laughs> Look at how dark it is outside. Wow. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Oh, wow. This is neat. <laughs> Very cool. This is cool. Isn't that cool? Very. This is, I don't even feel like I need my, well, I'm not looking up. I don't, right. I'm not don't looking when up. you're not looking yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah. This is so, what, so neat. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at the what I'm getting on the, on the film. Yeah, you're getting it. Don't move it. I'm not, I'm just trying to get it more centered. Wow, Brian. Oh, that is so amazing. Oh, my God. Wow, whoa. Whoa. Look at that, and look how dark it just got. <laughs> this is wild. This is really, really cool. What a neat experience. Wow. Oh man, that is amazing. Yeah. Oh wow. There is a star up there. Look at that. Oh wow, this is this is neat. What a cool day to be in Dallas. I can totally see why people would travel for this experience, you know? Yeah, now I see. I yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. That is, what a, that is so cool. I'm like surprised it's so good. Really yeah. Wow. That is so neat. I'm just like shocked. Yeah, me too. I am. I am so impressed. This is. This is much cooler. Yeah, yeah. this is much neater. There was one earlier in the year. I well, didn't it know. says in 2023, but that was an annular. Uh, so it wasn't a whole. It's, yeah. it's on my glasses. <laughs> That's the only reason why I know. <laughs> it tells me October 14th, wow. 2023 annular eclipse. This is so interesting. And, like, I can't even see it with the glasses right now. Right? Wow. That is so neat. I'm it's completely I blocked out. Right now. <laughs> I just can't tell my day this way. <laughs> well, I just, I had a few this morning and I was going to have some more. And then I was like, you know, they're saying, giving me messages that the traffic might be really bad and that kind of yeah. stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. I kind of think you're right. 
We are. Oh, uh, and it's it's over. It's over. Look at that. This, oh wow. Out the other side. Oh my God, that is so neat. And look at how much the sun is. Yeah. Already. Incredible. And then that's just light again. Yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. Wow. That looks cool with the clouds. Yeah. That is just neat. Yeah. Wow. That was definitely one for the books. Yeah. That was worth it. Yeah, all the other years where it's been a partial, you're like, oh, okay, and you can see the like. You kind of get it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the last the last time this happened, we were up in Canada, and uh, we really didn't have like it would have been like partial, like fifty percent where we were. Yeah. It never would have occurred to me to travel for it, you know. But uh, now I get it. Yeah, this is that. That is so cool. cool. Although we wouldn't have left Canada because you know we were there for a reason, but mm -hmm. wow! Here it comes. The sun's coming back. Look at that. And wow, it looks amazingly full on the... Yeah. The, and then yet, it's barely a, a sliver. And look how much sun yeah, we're... so much more sun, yeah. Yeah. That was neat. That was so Wasn't that cool. cool? Yeah, and it's still happening. So we're on the other side of the eclipse now. Right, right. It's amazing because right now it's just the tiniest little sliver of sun and it's Super so bright. much brighter Super bright. and warmer. I really hope Alyssa got to see I this like so we did. Too. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, if not, honey, we got some uh, some good footage for <laughs> you to look at. Uh, wow. Yeah, uh, that's my first eclipse. How about you? I think so, of that sort, yeah. yeah. That was really neat. It was. It's nice, it's cool to be here in Dallas for this. That was such a good eclipse. Alyssa, what'd you think of the eclipse? Did you I see it? I thought it was amazing. Tell it me about it. It was so cool. And we got to take off our glasses when it was at the full eclipse. What was it like seeing it with your school? It was great, and I have a badge. Oh, very cool, very cool. Well, I'm glad you got to experience this. You know it's going to be 20 years before you can see another one. How old will you be in 20 years? 27. 27. Well, I'm glad you got to see it today, huh? Yeah.